Shalom, call Hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakadash, and the water, the water, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for the spirit and truth. As always, giving double honors to my apostles that had us a great millstone who do real well and taught me this truth through the spirit, broken thumb. All right, and um, salutations to the Zakwani and Wa'akim across the four rooms of the earth that's teaching the truth and sincerity, faith, and honesty. Which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. I'm not fellow servant, Krami Asha'Allah, back with another lesson. And Lord's Willis is edifying to the elect of Israel. This is Habakkuk chapter 2. I'm going to start at verse 2. And Yahweh Bashim Yahushai answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Kind. Now, what does Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai mean when he, when he says that? The vision is what? The vision is the prophecies. Okay? Set for an appointed time because Second Ezra, the ninth chapter says we have to measure the time diligently. Giving diligence is going into the scriptures. In the Old Testament and the New Testament, which is the value of the book. And that's showing the love of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because at the end it shall speak, being what? The end of Esau Edom's rulership. And it's not going to lie because the prophecies must be fulfilled. That's why Yahweh Shai said, not one jot or one tittle. Okay? All right? And though it tarry, being what? Because we in this flesh, but it's already done, but we in the flesh. So that's why we got to endure through the spirit. Though the outward man perish, the spirit is being renewed day by day. All right? It will surely come. All right? Meaning what? Yahweh Shai said, Behold, I come quickly. Okay? And Yahweh Shai also said, um, I come to set fire on the earth. Okay? St. Matthew 10 and 34 said, I come to send a sword, not peace. I come not for peace. And Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, tell you there's a time for everything. And so if the Lord said he came not for peace, then peace ain't going to be on the earth when he return. We are in a time of war. So what are you uh, Jake's doing, man? We are in a time of war. What are you Jake's doing? Wake up and smell the smoke of a burning house, man. That burning house is America, which is Babylon the Great. According to the scriptures, she's the lake of fire. You standing in that, okay? You operating in that day to day. Now it's time to build up in the spirit and repent, man. And this video is for all you out there that don't uh, uh that know the truth and you and you clean and you acting like you don't know we are in a time of war this is joel chapter 3 verse 9 proclaim ye this among the gentiles the other nations prepare war wake up the mighty men let all the men of war draw near let them come up right so this is a part of that vision man all right okay world war three all right. Biblical prophecy. Nothing happens by accident. Nothing is coincidental. Coincidental, man. Everything is prophecy, man. All right. All things must be fulfilled. The testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So the Lord said, wake up the mighty man. That's what's going on. This is why you have China doing military drills. Russia military drills, which Russia is the uh, 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 Ezekiel 38, the, uh, the, uh, the guard. Excuse me. Be there a guard unto them. Okay. All right. And then you got Iran, which are the uh, Iran, the Iranians who are the Persians of the scriptures. OK, then you got East, uh, the East Indians who are Elam. All right. Moab, which is a so-called uh, Chinese man and all these other nations. Ammon, who's a so-called Japanese man. All these other nations. Then you got other nations. Uh, I'm sorry. Then you got other uh, 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 like the, uh, uh, the Africans, the original Africans. The, the people of Kush, you got foot and, foot and other uh, nations that come out of him. All right, that's going to be gathered, uh, uh, gather themselves and put themselves in array against Babylon, according to Jeremiah, the 49th and the 50th chapter, man, to shoot at her, man, with missiles. And those missiles are those uh, arrows that the Bible speaks of, man. Okay, so this is a time of war. Jumping down to verse uh, 14, multitudes, multitudes in a valley of decisions. For the day of the Lord is near in a valley of decisions, right? The day of Yahweh Bashem Shai is near in a valley of decisions, man, out there in the Middle East. And this is why you have all these military drills, 
Okay, but my question is, what are you Americans doing? What are you Israelites doing? You know, we're in a time of war. What are you doing? Where's your spiritual bank account, man? Why are you not building up in the spirit? Okay, the scriptures say, give diligence to make your calling election sure. Here it is. The prophets are here to call out through the, through, uh, the Yahweh Hashem Al Shah is calling out through us, and you refusing His hand. All right, you refusing His word. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 16, verse 21. This is what you people doing. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap on earth, upon earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Right. So because everything is so-called cheap today, you got family dollar, you got all this, you know, these cheap stores, you know, buy this, get one free for, you know, four, uh, four, four items for four dollars, whatever. Okay. Your victuals are so good cheap. That you think that you're in good case, but this is the will of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai to devise. The, uh, I'm sorry to uh, to to uh, put that uh, put that device against Babylon, man. Okay. All right. The scriptures say, "Sit down in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon." The Lord is making this place up to be destroyed. This, you people have not ever went to war. You people are not even preparing for war. This is a reason why I'm doing this video. Okay. It says. That they shall think themselves to be in good case. So majority of our people, majority of the people of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latino, Native American Indians, majority of you men, you follow the woman. And the woman, she followed the she followed the tale of the so-called white man Esau Edom. Okay? Alright, and what does that mean? That mean that uh you you are in a, a trick bag, man. Okay? Because the deceived and the deceivers are his, man, according to Job the twelfth chapter. Okay? And you're about to out shots, get ready to bring judgment on the planet Earth, man. This is a time where you want to get it right now before this third world's war pop off. This is why you have so many seditions and protests across the four corners of the Earth. All right. It says, and even then shall evils grow upon the Earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. Right. So the Lord said, even then shall evils grow upon the earth, man. Sword, famine, and confusion. And that's exactly what's going on across the four corners of the earth. These are the same things that Yahweh Shai told us that was going to happen across the four corners of the earth, man. Okay? All right. Up wars of the people. Wars and rumors of wars. Okay? But the end is not yet. All right? And this is why you see all these things popping off. Because the time of Yahweh Shai... He's at the door. Then you got this video that's spreading across the internet right now, which I re-uploaded from the brother out there in uh, the um, GMS Ancient of Days camp, California. All right. Behold, I come quickly. G GMS, behold, I come quickly. And that's the spirit. The spirit name, the spirit gave him that title because Yahweh Shah is coming quickly. And the video he put up was a young girl. She was a northern. She was from northern. You know, I like to say northern night, you know. She was a northern night, you know. <laughs> Okay, and, 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 and pretty much she had a dream that angels came to her in her dream and she had a vision, Joel 2 and 28, that what? The angels, Yahweh Shot was coming back. He's coming fast. She said he's coming fast. Okay, Revelation 3 and 11 says, behold, I come quickly. And she said he's coming for his people. He's coming to take his people. Isaiah says vengeance is burning in his heart. So in this third world's war, they're going to meet what? They're going to meet your house and the angels, man. And guess what? It's going to be an easy sweep of a victory, man. Because the scriptures say, uh, 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 he neither lifted hand, but only that came out of his mouth was to blast the fire, man. What is that representing? That fire that's coming out of the chariots, man. That's the power y'all watch me out shot. He ain't finna, he ain't finna uh, play around with you people, man. He finna show you what power is from, uh, from, another, from another dimension. Since you think power lies in the FRN, the Lord is going to show you power lies within having control over the body and the spirit, man. Second in command, getting ready to visit the planet Earth by the command of the Heavenly Father. So we're going to close out on this. St. Matthew 24, verse 37. But as, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. All right. So as in the days of Noah, man, what happened in the time of Noah? Okay, they scoffed at him, they scorned at him. But what the scripture saying in Hebrews 6, he moved with fear because he's seen the end. He's seen the end, and that's the 
that's the mindset of the prophets. We see the end of this place. All right. So when that boat take off and go afloat, ain't no going back, ain't no turning back, because we already told you these things, man. But as the days of Noah were, so also, so about so shall also the son of the so like Saint Matthew twenty four and thirty seven. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. And this is your side speaking. Just go to show you reincarnation is in the scriptures, man. He's talking to his disciples as if I'm talking to you. And he's telling them, look, uh, I'm going to come uh, so as the coming of the Son of Man. You like, if you don't got no understanding, you're like, what do he mean? He's standing right in front of me. Well, he had to go up to the Heavenly Father because the work was finished. All right. After he uh, was crucified. Okay. He got his lot back, man. He was second in command. And now that power is, he got that power in the heavens. Now it's coming back on the planet Earth, man. You see? It's getting ready to be assured on the planet Earth. According to Daniel's 7th chapter 27 verse. It says, um, For as in the days of for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying, right? So before the flood, before the flood come of the so-called, I'm sorry, Esau Edom come in, all right. The biblical Hebrew Edomites come in as a flood, okay. You're gonna know that the prophets were among you. And the people today are eating, marrying, and drinking, man. And caught up in the philosophies and the doctrines and the democracies of, of the Hebrew Edomites, man. The house of Edom, okay? Which is contrary to the scriptures. It says, in giving in marriage, right, you got people giving in a marriage right now. Marriage is played out, man. Everything is played out. As we get farther into the end, you start realizing that this shit ain't, don't mean nothing. You still celebrating Christmas and all. And Thanksgiving and Halloween, all these things, you start to, uh, something going to click in you like, yo, this shit bugged out, bro. And that's the spirit of your how about me outside because the scriptures say the gospel shall be preached across the four corners of the earth. So everybody got to know about this, man. Everybody got to know about the RFID tip, which is the mark of the beast, World War Three, and who are the Hebrew Israelites, man, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latino, Native American Indians. It says, and giving into marriage until the day... That Noah entered into the ark, right? Until the day that Noah entered into the ark. So what we're coming at, we're coming up into that time, according to Isaiah 26 and 20, where it says, come up hither and let the wrath uh, 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 pass over, man. Let the indignation pass over. See, it was a physical ark. This is a spiritual ark. It was a physical flood. We're, go we're coming into a spiritual flood, which is actually going to be physical, man. That's by thermonuclear missiles and the angels coming from the heavens, man. And that's the spirit. It's an angel on a TV called Destroyer, man. It's an angel on the TV called Destroyer right now. All right, and that's the spirit. Now I just, now I just went off. <laughs> Call all y'all about some y'all shite. The water y'all about some y'all shite. Verse thirty-nine. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So, so like it shall, shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So that's the point, man. All right, the World War Three and the things that's being gathered up, the sedition amongst men, the uh. The, the, the race riots, okay, the, the, the protests amongst the nations, all these things are being brewed up because we're coming into the time when Yahweh Shai is getting ready to send that fire on the planet Earth, according to Isaiah the 66 chapter, around the 15 verse, man. Because what he said, I come to set fire on the earth, and what will be if it already be kindled? So that fire is being kindled, which is what? That fire that's burning in his heart, man. So when he come back, it's going to be a right time to put ye in the sickle. For the harvest is ripe, man. All right? So at that, Lord's Witness was edifying to the elect. Call halal yahal basimi al-shai basimi al-shai basimi And the water yahal basimi al for the spirit and truth. And double honors to my apostles, the elders of great millstones. Salawam al-batham 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 al-batham